In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Logitech G Pro X Super Lite to PlayStation 4. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to give you easy to follow instructions on how to properly set up and use the Super Lite mouse on a PlayStation 4 console. Even though this mouse is primarily designed to be used on PCs and so on, you will be able to use it on your console without any issues. The only limitations is that you won't be able to access the G Hub software, so keep that in mind. Now, for you to actually use it, all that you have to do is unbox the mouse and gather the wireless dongle, if you want to use it wirelessly. Alternatively, you can also connect it directly, and I'm going to talk about that later. But if you want to do it wirelessly, all that you have to do is plug the USB-A wireless receiver into the dongle, and then you will be able to connect the dongle into any of the available USB ports on your PlayStation 4. So using the provided cable, make sure that it is plugged into any of the available ports. Now, place the dongle in close proximity of the mouse, and if you look at the bottom, you will be able to find the toggle, so make sure that the mouse is set to on. And once you set the toggle to on, you will be able to use the super light directly on your PlayStation 4 wirelessly. If you open a game that has support, you will be able to move your camera, navigate through the menus, use the cursor, and so on. Keep in mind that this is different for every single game. If a game does not have mouse and keyboard support, you won't be able to use it. So once this is on, you are basically good to go. Make sure that the mouse has sufficient battery, and if needed, you will be able to plug it into charge. Alternatively, if you don't want to use it wirelessly, then instead of having the cable go from the PlayStation 4 into the dongle, you just have to plug the cable going into the PlayStation 4 and then directly into the mouse. So plug one end of the cable into the PlayStation 4 and another one into the super light. And now you will be able to use it through a wired connection, whatever you prefer. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect Logitech G Pro X Super Lite to PlayStation 4. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching!